We know that 3 to the x power is equal to 6, and we want to know that 3 to the 2x minus 1's power. Hmm, how can we solve this? Well, the truth is we do not have to solve for x, because we can actually just evaluate this expression by using the rules of exponents, and let me show you guys how. Notice that we have a subtraction for the power, and recall that when we have b to the m's power over b to the n's power, well, the bases are the same, we can actually just subtract the exponents, this is the same as b to the m minus n's power. And if we look at this backwards, well, we can rewrite this as 3 to the 2x power and then over 3 to the first power. So, you see, if you look at this backwards, it's just 2x minus 1. And of course, we can look at it this way as well. So, that's what we are using. And then we see that this right here we have 3 to the 2 times x power. So, here is the other formula. When we have b to the m's power, and then if we raise that to the n's power, well, we can just multiply the exponents. So this right here becomes b to the n times m, or m times m, doesn't matter. And the idea is, we can look at this backwards again. Right here, we see that we have a 2. Right? 2 times x. So we can go ahead and say this is just 3 to the x, then raised to the second power, and then divided by 3 to the first power, which is just equal to 3. Okay, what good does this do? Well, 3 to the x is given to be 6. So in fact, this is just 6 to the second power over 3, and then we can just work that out. Do the exponent first, which is 36, and then divided by 3. 36 divided by 3, reduce that, we get 12. So, that's it. That's how you can work it out without actually solving for x. And again, the idea is just use the rules of exponents. And remember, there's also another main ones of the rule of exponents when you multiply, right? b to the m times b to the n. This is b to the m plus n. Right? You see, when we have multiplication here, we will add the exponent, and if this is a subtraction, we will subtract, and if this is a power to a power, we multiply the powers. So, I think this is a really good exercise to reinforce your understanding for rule of exponents, and I'll give you guys another question. Right? Here's the question. Suppose we know that 5 to the x power is equal to 2, all right? And the question is, we want to know What's 5 to the 2x power plus 3? Alright, so leave your answer down below and let me know what you guys have. That's it.